Hey everybody, I wanted to share something with you that was on my heart this morning. I've been reading in the Word um, recently about the miracle that Jesus did when He fed first the 5,000 and then the 4,000. Now if you didn't know, Jesus didn't do that just once. He did it twice. He took a few loaves and a few fish and He multiplied it and He fed thousands of people. Now I know that today, we have been presented with some opportunities to worry. Now, I call them opportunities on purpose and not reasons. You know, every, everything from COVID-19 to the oil um, going down to the economic strife that the quarantine has put on people. And let's just be real right now. There's a lot of people including myself, that have been dealing with some mental and emotional stress. You may be feeling depressed, you may be feeling down, you may be even having some feelings of hopelessness. We have a lot of opportunities to worry right now. But you know, the Holy Spirit just began to speak to me through this story the other day and I just thought it was so powerful. You know, there's a few similarities in the, the story of Jesus feeding the 5,000 and the 4,000. First of all, Jesus was being followed by crowds. So it says in both of those stories that he had compassion on them. And so he turned to them, he went to them, and he healed their sick. He cast out the demons. He, he met so many needs. There was this big group of people that had so many needs and he went, he had showed compassion on them and he met every single one of those needs. Some of them were physical and some of them were spiritual, but he was capable of meeting all those needs. And then after he fed them and he, he, met, he met another need. He fed their bellies and he made sure that they were not gonna go hungry. And you know, I felt like the Holy Spirit just began to encourage me that whatever my need is, whether it is physical, whether it is mental or spiritual, if it's a worry that I have about how I'm gonna provide for my family, if my family's gonna go hungry, if, if whatever the case may be, Jesus, can meet that need. So I want to encourage you that whatever may be going through your mind and heart today, to know that you need to go to Him because He is capable. He has compassion on you. He loves you and He is going to meet those needs today. I love you. I'm praying for you. I hope you have a great week. See you guys later.